Hello and welcome back. Thanks for joining. My name is Berit and today I want to talk about Battle Royale by Kushun Takami. This is a Japanese novel that I have recently reread and I thought why not share my thoughts and feelings about this book. So this is a controversial novel from 1999 by Japanese author Koshun Takami. I think this is the only novel that he published and the publication of it was um, accompanied by difficulties. I think at first the publisher didn't want to publish it because controversy and stuff. But in the end it got published and we now have Battle Royale in this world. So first off I will talk a bit about what this book is about and then I will address the issue of why I think this is so controversial and then I will give you some of my opinions about this 600 page thing. So Battle Royale takes place in a state, in a totalitarian state called the Republic of Greater East Asia and that republic is spanning I think what today would be at least Japan, I think China, and I think formerly it has also spanned what would be Korea today. And in the state they have a program called Program 68, um, which states that 50 classes, all from the ninth grade, from different high schools in different prefectures, they all um, they are chosen at random and they have to participate in a game um, where they all have to kill each other until only one student is alive. So each class participates in a secluded location, mountainside, island, whatever, and then you have to kill your classmates. Woo! And the last person living is the winner. And the winner gets a lifelong pension and a signed uh, picture from the great dictator of this Republic of Greater East Asia. Wow, isn't that a great prize for killing all your classmates? Anyway, in this novel, the students from the class 9B from the Shiroiwa High School, um, 42 people are the participants. They are from the Kagawa Prefecture, which is at the Sito Inland Sea. So this program takes place on an island. And yeah, in this novel, we witness... Um, how the program unfolds in the class in all its details. That is the plot of the story, basically. By the way, the title Battle Royale, this is explained in a kind of fictional foreword. The title Battle Royale is taken from wrestling, where um, a battle royale is that a certain number of wrestlers, let's say 20, they are put into the ring and it's everyone against everyone until the last person is standing. The last man standing is the winner of a battle royale. So the title has its inspiration from wrestling, which I think is a kind of weird uh, connection, but anyway, also fun to know maybe. And the program or game has of course some rules. So this takes place over the course of three days. They are 42 students and they each leave the place where they are gathered in a school on that island. They each leave the school with two minutes um, of a time difference, so everybody leaves alone. Um, you have forbidden zones in that game. You actually also have a map in the game. And every three hours, I think, there is one new forbidden zone, which is chosen at random. And um, you also have the rule that um, if after three days more than one person is alive, everybody will die. They all have these kind of um, steel necklaces that have uh, basically tiny bombs in them which rip off your head if you are either in a forbidden zone or for example if at the end of the game more than one person is alive then everybody gets killed off. Also if within 24 hours nobody dies, everybody gets killed. And also um, every student gets a bag when they leave the school which contains water and bread and a map of the island, a list with the students' names so you can keep track of who dies. And by the way, in the novel 
you of course also have a list with the students names so that you can keep track if you want I guess I don't know um, and also a random weapon is in the bag and that could be anything I think someone gets a dartboard with darts someone else gets an automatic gun so you you really have everything from not you have a lot of knives yeah but um, apart from that it could be anything and I don't want to tell you too much about the weapons because some of them are kind of surprises throughout the book so those are the rules of this game uh, so why is this book so controversial I guess the whole premise is special to put it mildly it's extreme because we have this mixture of innocence and violence with teenagers who slaughter each other and the thing is that this book is known for its detailed description of violence this is basically a splatter movie in a book form and you also have the very splattery movie of this book and yeah i think i think it's just this combination of teenagers who are more or less innocent and the extreme details of how they slaughter each other which make this book so controversial um, and I just I have to say it's the most brutal book that I have ever read I haven't read something as gory or as splattery before or since and yeah I can only say I can understand if people don't like it I can understand if people find it tasteless I I still like it so but moving on to my opinion about this book actually I think that the setting and the background of this book are very interesting because um, you basically get the background story of all of the students and some of them are more traumatizing than others a lot of them are traumatizing but uh, the thing is that you also get an insight into the state itself, into this Republic of Greater East Asia. And you get an insight into um, how the state works and what it does to people. Um, and I think that is really interesting. I mean, it's not a reinvention of the dystopian genre or something but I thought it was um, a really interesting aspect to the novel which also makes for more character depth I think than I would expect when you have 42 people and you get insight into every single one of them eventually and also that is one factor of why this book is so dang long I guess because the it's not like it's 600 pages of pure splatter it's also a lot of other discussions and you also of course learn more about the program eventually because while it's first portrayed as this kind of substitute for military service which obviously is kind of strange because what kind of military service kills off almost all of the participants you also get to know after a while how the program is actually another mechanism to um, oppress the people in the state which I found very interesting as I said we also get insight into the students and as I also said most of them are kind of traumatized which I guess is not a surprise given the whole setting of the story but I thought it was interesting and you have some descriptions of students kind of going mad um, different kinds of mad I would say um, some cases of really disgusting privilege and a lot of this is also interspersed with these kind of typical teenager thoughts I guess which also makes the violence seem more extreme of course because then you have these typical like thoughts that oh well but there was this girl I liked or there was this boy I liked and stuff like that things that teenagers think about and I mean I, I will not say much more about it because if I go much into depth about what we get to know about the state that would also be kind of a spoiler for the whole book but um, I guess in summary I have to admit that I'm not sure what my main argument for this video is I guess I just want to say that uh, I like this book and I think there is much more to it than just the shocking splatter part that we all know that is in there 
and also I remember that I watched the movie. I remember that I found it a bit trashy and I'm not sure if you can make this movie anything but trashy actually. I mean I liked the movie but I also found it a bit trashy and I actually don't think that this book is which was also something that kind of surprised me. But also the last thing that I want to say about this book is that while it has um, inspired some known young adult literature and adaptations, <coughs> Hunger Games, um, I just want to stress uh, that this is not a YA book, I guess. I, I mean, I don't know if it's officially a YA book. I don't think it is. It's about teenagers, but I guess it's not for teenagers. So yeah, that wraps up my thoughts about Battle Royale. Um, I hope they weren't confusing. I hope they weren't too all over the place. I just felt like I wanted to share something about this because there is more to it than exploding heads. Um, anyway, I would love to hear your opinion about the book or about the movie for that matter. And maybe I'll see you in the next video. Bye.